Hi everyone, it's Rena. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be going over hair. Um, sorry I had to take a little break. I had a whole bunch of midterms and assignments uh, the past couple of weeks so I just had to literally sit down and do all that. Anyways, besides of that, let's get started. So in this, all I have done so far is just changed the hair color. So you can do that by just clicking on to, so we had this here. Ignore these, this was from something else. <laughs> I clicked on this, I made a duplicate of it, and I just clicked on here, changed the hair color from there. Okay, that's pretty much all I did, really. We are going to make a very simple hairstyle. Today's hairstyle is going to be a ball cap with some dreads coming out in the back or something, something like that. I'm thinking one or the other. Okay, let's start with the ball cap. We are going to use a procedural hair group instead of a freehand group because procedural hair group will make your life so much easier so let's click on that um we're not going to use this hair texture so we're gonna duplicate i'm just gonna click on hair texture i'm just gonna color this something different so let's go with like a blue color cool got it let's go with like a little bit of a lighter i like that color okay and and uh Yeah. Okay, and great. And then we're gonna go to textures because I had tested out hair texture before, so that's kind of for the dreads um, that we're gonna use. That uh, I will include that clip of how I made this in this after. <laughs> I see what happened. Okay, we're just gonna mute this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna take. Technically, I guess like, we can use a white color. Um, we're gonna bring this brush as big as I can. I'm just gonna color that in. It's like an off-white, it's almost like a gray-white. Yeah, that works, right? Yeah, okay. Now, if I were to use a dark color right here, okay, that's at the top. Okay, I like that on the top here. So we're gonna take a little feeder brush thingy. I don't know what to call this, but we're gonna just fade that little line up there just cause I want it to be darker at the top here. Okay, got it, good. Go back to the design. I really hope this is recording. We're going to go back to the design. Um, and we are going to be adding more hair. So let's look at this little line here. Uh, it would probably be smart if I brought all these up to be as flat and straight as possible. Perfect. We're going to also change the height. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to add more hair. I'm going to add about 10. We're going to change the interval, so like the spacing between them. And then the position, we're going to leave the same. So I'm just going to make sure mirroring up here is turned off. We're just going to position to this how we would like our hat to look. Cool, okay. I'm gonna add a bit more hair, so maybe 15. And increase that interval. So they all line up. Cool, okay. Now that we have that. Error, how dare you. Error two. Because I'm not clicked onto it. Ignore the air side, nothing's wrong. I could not tell you what this air is trying to tell me why I have an air mark here, but uh, it's there. Okay. 
Here's the starting port point of our hat. Looks funny if you look at it at this point of view. But now we are going to make the brim. That's what it's called, right? Brim of the hat. So let's do that right here. I was debating if I wanted it to go in the front or if I wanted it in the back. Um, it's up to you, but I think I'm going to go in the front. So this one, we're going to do a freehand group. We are going to change the height. I'm just going to bring this part out. Bring this down. I think that works. And then we're gonna bring each corner piece like this part here. I lied because I forgot I wasn't in the drawing tab. So yeah, once again, bring these down even as possible. Okay. I think that works. We're in the draw, so we're gonna just do one like that. And then we're just gonna fix the point. I just want to bring in that bit more on either side. All right. Um, last but not least, we are going to add in some hair. If Oh yeah, if you don't like how short this beak is, you can always change it by doing this. And I also don't like how thick she is, so I also change that too. It's kind of like this. I also don't like how thick that is, so we're gonna decrease the thickness. I, I think that did it for me. All right, so he has a ball cap on. So let's us make it a bit wider in terms of the offset. Not that offset, but this offset. Because then we're going to put hair underneath it. Okay. So like I said, I was going to do dreads underneath this component of the hat. So let's do that. If it's up, if you like just the hat alone, just leave it at that. If you don't like this hair, just make him bald and maybe do an undercut or something. But just know that it's going to take a lot of practice of just doing little fine dots just to kind of fill in the back of his head. It's very tedious. Okay, so let us do the dreads. Okay, so now we're going to do a freehand group. I didn't figure out how I want the hair to lay yet. So I'm just going to put it down make it look like it's coming out from underneath the hat. Cool. Perfect. And then we're going to add, um, not add, we're going to just draw. So let's go back into the drawing. We are going to change the hair texture to a brown one. So I will add a clip of how I made this hair texture. Hair texture, fun thing. <laughs> Funny thing is, it's literally a lot of scribbling. So you can just erase this default layer, go into this one, and then just find a, you can either pick the color that you want the hair to actually be, or you can work in like a gray tone. Make your brush size a little uh, the standard, and then just do mirror, little squiggles, and then change around the brush size, change around the shade. I totally lost the cursor. There we go. I would say play around between sizing of like a. 12 to a 3. Create another layer. Move that layer down. We're just going to hide our current layer that we just worked on. Um, 
you're gonna take that lighter shade here make your brush size really big fill that in here like that I'm going to erase some near the ends just because I don't want it to be just fully there and then we're gonna make a darker shade kind of whoops let me do uh, draw in and then you can add back in your texture like that so then that way it kind of makes it look like it has more texture into it I'll just play around with just different shades of gray and the reason why you do it in shades of gray is so that way if you want to use the standard colors like this um, you can just turn it to whatever color you want it to be without having to really worry if it's going to work. Now that we have made the hair texture, let's draw um, these dreads. I'm not sure how I want the hair to be shaped yet, so I'm going to bring this down maybe like about that. So for, for dreads, it's preferred to have the end point to be a tip, like a sharp point, or else you kind of get like a square block. So if you're getting a weird square gray block when you finish drawing the hair and you look underneath the character, it looks kind of weird, that's why. I'm debating if I want to do mirroring just to save myself some time, so let's do that. All right, I'm gonna turn off mirroring. I'm going to also change the thickness of the hair. Let's do this. Change the thickness. Turn up that twist. Okay, now I can play around with thickness and width. I'm just going to play around with where they are positioned. So I can do this and stretch it out. Then it makes it look like it's underneath there. Okay, we're going to add a couple more in the back. So another freehand group. Use the select tool. Okay, so now that we have that done, we are going to do the bone work for the hair. So you just click on a section of hair, click create group. I find the ones closer to the front of the face is probably best to leave them separated and not do anything with it, like not pair them with another one. And then I usually do about like two to three bone groups. Okay, hair like this. I'll show you what it would look like if you just did two and versus the three. So this one will do two. And then change the fixed point. So I only want it to basically start moving from this point here versus starting from all the way up there. And then if you want to put more in a group, you kind of click two or three of them that are close to each other and then create one group. But just know that they're going to take the placement between the two hairs. Oh. If you do something like this, this is what I mean, it takes the mean between the two. So I clicked one and then one on the other side. I did not mean to do that. So you can just remove this dude from there. And then remove this one because you accidentally paired its hair bone structure to the other side of his head. And that ain't gonna work. Right, and this is what it would look like when he is in motion. So the one that has three, just a bit more movement. One that has one, it's a bit more stiff. All right, I'm gonna remove this baseline here so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at in terms of how much space we have. And then I can also work on this, so. 
Meaning, I'm going to pull these up. Will that change the bone structure? I don't know. We'll find out. Find out together. I like how he's so bald in the back. I'm going to do a bit of an undercut. And then probably add some facial hair. Because, uh, yeah. That, that seems like it would need that. But right now, this could be a totally a unisex hairstyle. A girl wearing a hat. A dude wearing a hat. Just change the face structure and you get whichever one you want. He's totally right now gender neutral. I'm going to add in some other features. So let's go back to the face editor. We're going to go into adding like a hairline or something. Because I feel like it's missing that. That's not the face. The face is right here. So the hairline, you're basically making your brush as small as possible, well, that you can do things with. Um, pick a dark brown to a black color. I'm not sure which one I want to get with. Make sure mirroring is turned on, and basically you're doing this, filling it in. Lots of dots filling in this area until you get something that looks kind of like this. So now we have a um, an undercut at the front, like a fade, basically. And then I'm going to also add in facial hair, so give me a moment. Basically, you're following the same concept for the facial hair that you did for this here. So also, what I didn't show you, I've also made a video on this, but I did a combination between um, the dark one here, this, and then this. And just kind of keep doing that in like a pattern, and then I just erased uh, the structure that I didn't want just to kind of make more of a straight line without having to really try to make a straight line. So I'm going to do the same thing with the beard. Okay, so now we have a beard, but it's looking kind of light. So I changed the strokes to like more of like a hair like stroke, so like a downward stroke. We're going to add in a coloring underneath. So I just did that just to make it a bit darker. So which, what I did was take this same brush, put it to a very light opacity, and then kind of went over it in another uh, shader underneath and kind of just morphed the two together, basically. And there you have it. Anyways. So that's pretty much it for the hair. I think what I will do next is probably make another video on the clothing and uh, clothing including shoes as well. Um, but other than that, this series is almost coming to an end. Um, next series will be uh, one hairstyle, three textures. Where we're basically, as it says, we're taking one hairstyle and using three different hair textures to create it. So someone with straight hair, someone with wavy hair, and then someone with curly hair, like kinky coily type curly hair. And how those different hair textures would change that look completely. Um, yeah, so let me just add in maybe some hair in the back. But other than that, uh, that's it for today. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, I lied. I'm going to add also a, um, another video. The next video of, of the series is going to be sometime this week as well. So because I missed last week, I'm going to make it up by probably posting it maybe like Wednesday, Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, I'll take care. Bye. All right. This is basically the final look of the hair. I just added in some more hair at the back to cover up some of the spacing. Um, yeah.